Hey guys, it's Hammond in a PvP. We're going to be going over the new tier 4 cavalry unit, the Amagalances today, and dive into their doctrine setup, veterancy line, and some tips and tricks to get you galloping over fools in no time. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so this is the doctrine setup we're using these guys. Um, for the Armager Lancers, we got an assassination, a breakthrough. We have movement speed increased by 6%. Uh, I got an 80, 80 piercing defense doctrine on them. And then their, uh, their uh, unit doctrine increased normal attack damage by 5%. Um, if you don't have an assassination and breakthrough doctrine, you can put piercing armor penetration and piercing damage because that is the main damage type that they do. Um, but that's pretty much it for doctrines. Let's get on to their veterancy. All right, so for the veterancy line here, you're going to want to go 100% top line. Um, I, I haven't tried the bottom line, uh, but just with the way that they are, uh, this unit is set up, it already has very low defensive stats, like 475 piercing defense, even with the Doctrine, and I'm working on the Honor Nodes. On the top line, you get increased charge damage, you get increased movement speed, so they go up to an 8.6, and they're even faster when they use their abilities, which we'll get into in a little while. They get a double strike. And then you still get a little bit of defense in the bottom along with the piercing armor penetration. Um, and then you also get increased normal attack damage to combine with the doctrine that they already have. So, I mean, in my opinion, top line is going to be the way to go. Like I said, I haven't tried the bottom line, but it, it, just, it just doesn't seem right to me. They're just not a defensive unit, so you shouldn't play them as such. They're a fast, high damaging, quick attacking unit, and that's the way you should use them. Moving on here to the traits and abilities, we have Unhurried, which uh, the armor goes wait for the right moment to strike, which I definitely find that to be true, especially in their cover commander, which we'll get into here shortly. Uh, heavy armor, making it difficult to harm. It doesn't say fireproof. I haven't tested it out whether the fire, fire uh, stops them, like regular fire. Um, the unit recovers 0.25% of their max health every second passively, which would double on the bottom line, but after doing the math, it really isn't enough to consider going the bottom line. Um, they get a regular charge like any other cavalry unit does, but they get a cover commander and they're moving, uh, they follow their commander moving at high speed and inflicting normal attacks at a high rate. It does a crap load of damage when they're in their cover commander. And then they get this extra little charge called gallop. Um, and the gallop is, it, it, you can use it to get away, you can use it in conjunction with the charge. I'm gonna show you uh, all that in the unit training area when we get to that. I just wanna show you really quick uh, their honor nodes. Considering that the armor galancers are an upgraded version of the yeoman, you can use their honor nodes here to increase their health to increase their piercing defense, to increase their slashing defense, and there's another one in there to increase their charge damage after the yeomen are unlocked. Um, all of these, uh, it's it's personal preference whether you have a bunch of units to unlock or not, um, and you have some extra honor sitting around, I would highly recommend getting these. Because 15% piercing and slashing defense, that's a lot. If it was 10%, I would say not so much. The 5% health is definitely worth it because they're almost at like 12k health as it is. Um, but yeah, let's get into the unit training area and get into some funda fundamentals. So now we're going to get into the tips and tricks portion of the guide. And to start, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the building officer and go to the unit training area, which you can find in your region's main city. All right, start here, guys. We're just going to do uh, the yeoman's charge ability. We're going to do one ability at a time, and then I'll show you how you can combo them. So you can see their charge here. It's pretty high damaging. I mean, for, for a tier four unit, the charge uh, does some decent damage. Um, and this is just the charge and then just Xing them back. Um, that's a, that's about it. And this is not even using their other abilities. They dispatched the unit pretty quickly. Um, but then uh, next we're going to get into their cover commander. All right, up next here we have their cover commander. Um, we got a pikeman unit on the field. Um, we're just going to X right up to them and then activate the cover commander. You see how they point their lances down and just go right at the enemy. They attack so quickly in the cover commander. Like look, look at them just running around. They're like little little wolverines. <laughs> They're so fast. Um, and there's only have this one little uh, pikeman left and doink he goes down. <laughs> That's the last of that. All right, next up here we have their gallop ability, which is, uh, you know, the one that says T on there. Um, so we go X up to the unit, we activate their gallop. As you can see, they, they charge, it's like a little mini charge. It does a little bit less damage, but right after the gallop is done, it automatically goes into cover commander to kind of like finish off the unit. Um, if you want to use it that way, there's a couple other ways you can use gallop, which I'm going to show you here in a second. So this is one way that you can combo gallop with one of their, one of their abilities. You use the regular charge ability, and then right as the unit is about to reach the unit you're trying to kill, you hit gallop, and then they, they sprint even faster. And this works uh, especially well against range units. Um, so if you're trying to kill range units like some muskets or something, and you're afraid that they're going to stop your charge, use the regular charge, and then as they get close enough for the muskets to start to attack them, um, you'll start to shoot them, hit gallop. And the speed that the, the horses go with gallop 
you can't get enough musket fire in there to stop the whole charge. So, I mean, you're pretty much going to kill the whole unit because they go right through them with the gallop. And then the uh, cover commander auto automatically activates after the gallop is over and will kill the rest of the unit. So it's a pretty cool way you can use their uh, gallop combined with the charge there. Another cool way here you can use their gallop in conjunction with the charge is you can charge and then just, just use the charge here. Don't hit gallop yet. Charge into the unit. And let's say it's a crazy situation. You know you need to get out of quickly. Turn around. Make sure that your unit is turned around and then hit gallop. And then you can gallop away from the unit. Now, mind you, it will activate Cover Commander automatically. So if you want them to keep running away, you're going to have to X them in that direction to make them keep moving that way. Or else they'll go into Cover Commander and turn around. So you got to be careful there, but that's one way you can use their gallop is to get away. Really quick before we get into some gameplay here, guys. Using my creator code, HamBananaPVP, all lowercase letters in the My Game Store, you can get some awesome creator packs where you get unit skins, hero skins, um, you have some sweet in-game loot, and it supports the channel, supports the game. Um, but without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. First up here, we have uh, us with our armor galancers, and we're defending on Sun City. We're on the pole act. Um, I used the uh, gallop ability to get past those pikes. Uh, to, to, uh, one of the getaway moves I kind of use with them. Then we get into the cover commander here. Um, I believe I try to X them forward here, and then I charge. Let's see what happens here. Um, the charge kind of gets stopped, but then I go right back into the cover commander, and I'm trying to get the hell out of here. I'm like, oh, it's a bad situation. I know I'm going to lose all my guys. But we ended up getting like 40 or 50 kills of them. And in a situation like that with a tier 4 cavalry unit, um, not bad. Next up here, we are defending on Riverlands. We got our armor go lancers. We got a big push coming up to this uh, sea supply point here. Uh, we got these uh, Imperial Spear Guards that are advancing. Um, I tried to hit the charge on them, but I was a little late on it. Um, so I went right into the cover commander, had them face me, and then I went into the gallop. Uh, right here and you can see we did a bunch of damage um, you know the Imperial Spear Guards are a very tanky unit so it's no surprise there we didn't kill much but then we go right into the cover commander and watch what this cover commander does they are just running around attacking so quickly it is absolutely insane what they are doing with this uh, with this cover commander look at just running around I end up dying here because I get flood, uh, flooded with heroes but we got about 70 kills there not too bad quick one here defending on allenberg siege uh there's a, a few things going on with the eight point i think we pretty much just cleared it but we got three heroes here you see them on the poleaxe uh, i think if you watch my ptr video i said that these armor galants were going to be very good with the poleaxe which is very true um you go into that cover commander especially with a weapon like the poleaxe and just cc everybody and you get a lot of kills another one here defending on allenberg siege we get a bunch of stuff going on in the eight point here and uh no teammates in sight currently um, I cover commander right into all these units and you can see how much damage they do. Then I do their regular charge to kind of hit, uh, hit these uh, stalwarts in the back, right back into the cover commander. Then I use their gallop and they're just running around so crazy like that. I mean, the, the speed of this unit is, is its uh, strong suit. It's like the speed and the attack damage. So you see I'm like just cover commander and they're just running around all crazy like all around me. Um, I end up dying. But I get another healer hero kill there, and I save the point with these yeomen, uh, new yeomen. They're, they're an awesome unit, and I'm having a blast with them. Defending again here on Valley Fortress. As you can see, I just swapped on my unit at the supply point. I know this cab's coming up here, so I charge right into it. And it's actually my buddy Giotto. <laughs> I got him there. This guy has gotten me plenty of times, though. Great player. Um, and then I go right to the cover commander, and we're just uh, trying to figure out what to do now. Um, I think I, I tried to gallop. I'm trying to save this guy's uh, Falcon Andy Gunners up here that were um, kind of getting killed by these Keshigs. So we saved those. Um, and then we still have this big rush coming up to the, uh, the supply point here. I'm basically just, I know that I'm probably going to die here. I'm just trying to wait it out, trying to kill as many units and heroes as I can. Unfortunately, I can't save these Falcon Andy Gunners a second time. <laughs> but I'm really trying like hell. I go back into the cover commander. And as you can see, right at the end of this clip, I get another like 20 kills with them in the cover commander. That That is definitely where they are the strongest in that cover commander. And then the gallop to get away and the regular charge to maybe start a fight or in the middle of the fight, kind of move them around. But they're just such a fast unit and they are just fantastic. Another clip here, defending on Sun City. We're on the home point. Uh, there's a flood of enemies. We're about to lose the game. This was a great play I made here. Um, it was just like just a just an impact play. I get in there with the long sword, long sword ulti these jabs so they can't stop my charge. And I get the charge in there. I only got like nine lancers left, but I'm just kind of hanging in there, just trying to hang on the point until my team gets there. I got them in the cover commander, and as you can see, they're just running around like absolute absolute crazy. And <laughs> I end up uh, I do believe I end up getting killed there. Actually, no, I do survive. Um, surprisingly. And uh, we just clear off the point, and uh, we eventually ended up winning this game. And um, yeah, these yeomen, they, they got there so fast from the uh, from the spawn point. 
because I just charged into their gallop and everything. And yeah, we saved that point. Next up here, we're attacking on Riverlands. We're using the dual blades. There's a guy here on a Huacho. We take him out with the, with the stealth attack into the dual blade ulti. We got my buddy Turon here trying to kill me, which he has many a times, but this time I get the best of you, bud. I love you, Turon. He's one of my housemates. Um, and we see this mall here. We don't have enough more, enough abilities up to take care of him, so we get the hell out of there. Another one here, we're attacking on White Elk Fort. I'm trying to help my buddy here who is uh, like, uh, trying to camp the spawn here. Um, so I come in with the cover commander with the yeoman. Um, you start getting a bunch of kills, getting a bunch of damage in there um, right now. And then we uh, we gallop past to I see this pike malicious brace. I'm going to try to get in there with my hero and kind of help out a little bit. I get in there with the uh, spear ulti, which was really good. We're up to 44 kills with them already without a without a man lost. We get a hero kill. Um, this is where I kind of make a, make a mistake of trying to go uh, right through here. And then I'm met by some uh, some Imperial Pike Walkers. Um, and they take out most of my yeoman unit. But it was still a good try with a, with a T4 unit. We did made a big impact play. Um, distracted a lot of people off the A point, And then we end up capping it there. Guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making this video. I encourage y'all to join my Discord. A link will be down below in the video description. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. So we're going to be making a hell of a lot more of these in the future. Thank you, people. I love you. Have a good one.